Hi, I'm Marshall Kendall from TechScan, and uh, today I'm going to give a little demo on our mat scan system, which you can see here on the floor. Um, the mat scan can be used for uh, many different things uh, related to gait and foot function. Uh, we can look at, uh, say, a diabetic foot and look at high pressure uh, areas under the foot and try to uh, develop different uh, methods to offload those areas. You can also uh, look at the forces under the foot and see if there's an asymmetry between the left and the right foot uh, when uh, people are walking over the mat. Okay, so as you can see here, I've uh, done a recording with the mat scan. I've uh, taken a dynamic uh, uh, gait of uh, a patient. So we have a left foot here and our right foot here, and now we're able to put them side by side and compare the, um, the pressure uh, displays, if you will, uh, to see if there's any uh, differences between the actual pressure patterns that we're seeing between the left foot and the right foot. So you can see uh, there's a different color scale. As pressure increases, we go from a dark blue up to a bright red, uh, where bright red would be showing a higher pressure area. Um, so we're able to look uh, right away and see if there's any differences between the color scales of the left and the right foot. And then in this area here, we're able to see if the arches, uh, if there is an arch first of all, and uh, for someone who may have a flat foot, we'd probably see a little bit of fill in this area as well. This line that we're seeing here on both feet represents a center of force, and as the person's walking from heel to toe, this center of force will progress over top of the foot. It will also give us an idea as to how the, uh, the forces and if the person uh, supinates, for instance, you would, might see this uh, center of force come more on the lateral side of the foot. Someone with a very flat foot, an arch will fall. We'll see the center of force travel pretty much directly from the heel to the first metatarsal head. Um, so it will give you an idea and of, of any differences there might be between the left and the right foot. We can also show the forces under each foot. In this case here we have a green curve which represents our left foot and a red curve which represents our right foot. And we're able to look at the peaks, uh, at the peak heel contact uh, force and compare whether those things are, uh, whether the forces are equal or if there's a big difference between the two. Same thing for the forefoot propulsion. What we're looking for in this case is any asymmetries between uh, the force curves. Mat scan can be used uh, for barefoot analysis with diabetic uh, patients. Uh, a lot of the problems that we have with diabetic patients, they can't really feel, uh, well not everyone, but there's a lot that uh, have problems with the uh, sensation at the feet and therefore can't tell if they uh, are putting a lot of force or having a lot of pressure under the foot. We have a function with the mat scan that allows us to look at the actual loading rate uh, while someone is walking dynamically and it's our integral impulse uh, under the foot. And it will also, much like the pressure values, show red for high pressure values. In this case, for loading rate, red would be uh, showing a very high loading rate. And uh, in the diabetic literature, they're starting to look a little bit more at the impulse and the amount of loading rate that uh, people have during gait to determine if there's any potential ulceration problems further on down the road. So with a simple click of the button we have here, we can do that calculation with our system and locate those potential problem areas uh, for, for treatment uh, of the diabetic patients.